can go from there. So, so first things first, just log into your Google account. And then once you're logged in, go up here to your little waffle. The waffle. The waffle. The Google Apps. And if you'll click on it and go down to the Google Plus. And that'll pull up. Avery Zimmerman, if you're on campus, please come to the office. Avery Zimmerman, please come to the office. It'll pull up your, uh, your Google search. The Google Plus at the top, the search toolbar. Yes, you'll just go to the little waffle and then go to the Google Plus. And then once you get to right here where it uh, says uh, Google search or search Google Plus, you can click up there in the little search button or the little search area and just type in Mystery Hangout. It'll kind of populate it. And then this one right here under Communities, you can just click on it. And then once you get to the mystery hangout part, you can click join. It doesn't show up here on my screen. Talk about the education and being a community of educators, and there were all different 
topics. It was reading, it was math, it was science, social studies. So you can you can filter it to be just your mystery hangout. But if you're looking for something different for some of our uh, other level school classes, you can look. And it was easy to get to. I just did a simple Google search, and a huge community of educators looking for. And, and like she said, they'll specify specify a time and a subject. What uh, I found the most were for book talks. We're reading this book. Are you available at this time? And um, yeah, and this one right here. This is actually a seventh grade literacy class um, that would like to schedule a book talk with another class to discuss Al Capone does my shirt. <laughs> So this page is called Mystery Community or Mystery Hangout, but it's basically connecting with other educators at other places and talking about what you're learning. Um, specifically, their two classes did a mystery hangout trying to figure out where the other class is. So um, Amy made um, email back and forth with their teacher. The teachers know where the kid where they're at okay but the kids don't so that brings up a whole lot of um, higher level thinking skills because they're having to come up with their own questions why what types of questions could I ask to find out where these people are and like we had um, a few kids in the class that would say was your state rocky is that going to help in our locate? I mean, is that a good question for us to ask? Does that help us find where you're located? Um, so Willie was actually over the day and, and shot a video of their hangout going on in their class. Um, it's both of their classes are in there, okay? Um, and so there's several adults in there to help out because it was their first one in their class. So we kind of were all hands on deck that day to help out. Um, and so if y'all want to show the video of... And one thing I did before I actually did it with the kids, I went on YouTube and just typed in like mystery hangouts for third grade to kind of show the kids like this is what it's going to look like. This is what we're doing. And it kind of really got them fired up. They were super excited about it. So this is actually the video of our class, our two classes doing it, just some different pieces of it.
it's cold, so. Oh, you look smart and Yeah! Right, the North and North and North East. Look at the other map. If you have to, draw a compass rose at the bottom. I think about where North East really cool. would be. Look at this map. This is a good map. Tells you where the North East is. It could be in New York. It's cold in New York. It is cold. Oh, So what did y'all think about the hangout? It was good. It was awesome. So what? So what was it? What did y'all do today? We we guessed where we asked questions on a Google Hangout for a different class in a different state, a whole other state, still in the United States, but it was in a whole other state, not Texas. It was so much fun. We asked questions and we tried to guess their state. It was really fun. Her so job cool. was to answer all the questions, answer the questions. I, I was to ask the questions to the other class, and they would say yes or no. So, like, we could say, are you on the west side of the Mississippi River? They would say no, because New York is on the east side of the Mississippi River. So. My job was to ask questions and zoom, on, zoom in on where they were. And my job was to write down the questions that we asked and then write down the answer that they said. So like, yes or no. They said, first question we asked them so, was the Mississippi River. And so I would write down, they said no. So I wrote down the question and the answer. It was really fun and Google Hangouts are really fun. I like it. I like it too. I hope that we get to do another one here. It's fun. Me too. All right, so did y'all find out where they're from? Yeah. They're on Long Island in New York City. Cool. All right. <laughs> so, Corey, she, she's Missy's daughter, she was actually in the class when we did it. So, what do you think, Corey? Tell them what you thought about it. It was fun. <laughs> what was your favorite thing about it? When we guessed where they were. <laughs> that was probably the funnest part to me, too. It was a lot of fun, and it really... Um, helped with their questioning because the kids were writing down the questions. Mm -hmm. We were just monitoring them. They were doing all the work, so it was a lot of fun. And they actually figured it out pretty quickly. They did. We had post-its, and they would. We had like I don't know if y'all noticed, but everybody had jobs. So I had kids like videoing, kids taking pictures. We had some people that were called the travelers, and they would. So the kids would write down the questions and they would bring them to us. And I mean, we had a bunch. Are you in New York? And I already knew, but I didn't want to like push that one to them. Like, ask this one because it was pretty quick. So I just kind of let them pick. And finally they said, are you in New York? So they were super excited when we figured it out. And we had the map available for them too. So they could see, because they don't know, well, our third graders don't know yet. Like, some don't, mm -hmm. you know, West and East and Mississippi. Did they have the same map shot? Did y'all have the baby and the same match y'all have? 
I don't know. They're, 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 I don't know. They're, I don't know. looked a little bit different. Yeah, so. and we kind of, this was their third hangout. So we learned some things that we're going to do differently. Like they had yes or no question cards. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I thought so. that was a good idea. Their maps were laminated so they could just use Expo, mm -hmm. you know, and we could erase it. Um, can you think of anything else they did a little differently than we? One thing that Brittany shared uh, was that either y'all made them or they did, that we had, uh, they had a sign that said we're, we're still thinking. We're still thinking. thinking. Yeah. Because you can tell, like, yeah, that was good. I mean, it's not going to be a quiet place. I mean, you're there, you're talking back and forth with them, so you have to think about basically two classrooms all at one time. And so when we would ask them a question, they're, um, people that were talking or leading the discussion would hold up a sign that would say, we are thinking. And we're like, oh, I'll write that down for next yeah. time. So we were constantly taking ideas that they could use the next time they do one. Well, one of the girls even said, we need that sign for something. So I made one real quick <laughs> so they can hold it up. But we had certain students that were set up as the speakers. Um, so they were the ones that, you know, did all the speaking and the questioning. And then the other ones were sitting there figuring out the questions and looking on the map and things like that. And like we stopped it at, um, you know, where we figured out what state they were in. I mean, one of one of the little boys in my class, he was like, well, what city are they in? You know, like he wanted to take it further. Yeah. So, I mean, you can take it as far as you want to. Where you because know, they learned on, on very quickly on Google Maps and Google Earth how you can, can take it and in. zoom in. So they <laughs> wanted to know very specifically on Google Earth where their school was, what it looked like. Mm -hmm. And so Amy yeah. actually emailed the teacher back and said, our kids are very interested to learn about your school. Um, what's the name of it? Um, but in, in one Google Hangout, our Mr. Hangout that we've done before, the teacher, there was they had enough time because I think their class had, it sounded like their bell rang at the end of it. So I think that they were needing to get out of like their time was up. But I think you can, um, some of the other ones that are the one of the other ones that we've done, they went down to the city. And so the, by the time you get down to the city, you're having to use the Chromebooks because they'll give hints. Like um, the one of them was we're 20 minutes east of the big ball of twine. So the kids are like 20 miles east of the big ball of twine, you know, like zooming in, trying to figure out where they're at. So they were very interested to know exactly where they were at once they figured out they were in New York. So you could take it even further than that. Um, and just like we shared facts with um, them about Texas, they shared facts about their community as well. Um, they have the handouts and the things that the kids used. So I think we can kind of put them on the different tables and let y'all look at them um, and switch them around for, um, you know, take some and then rotate them around every few minutes. Um, so you can see how they set it up um, in their classrooms. And some of those cards, did you find teachers pay teachers? teachers or? I found them on teachers pay teachers. I just typed in Mr. Hangout. And the cards are actually questions that they could do. Like there's a certain color that's country, there's a certain color that's for state, there's a certain color that's for city. <laughs> We're going to actually walk you all through a Google Hangout um, so that you'll have an, an opportunity to experience this. Well, I was going to say, too, on your handout, if you look on the back of the handout, there are some ideas, different ideas for um, ELAR, math, science, social studies, and then just other ideas, too, on the side of like what you can use it for. Um, so... And there's YouTube me. videos out there. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. Amy went to search, like, Google Hangout, third grade. Yeah. Um, you can look for mystery numbers. Um, there's all kinds of videos out there that you can look to get an idea of what to do. Um, one of the main things that she, you know, did a great job of in her class was setting up those jobs. It gave every kid a purpose, and everybody knew what they were doing. Um, it was a little chaotic, but it was chaos that was controlled. It was controlled chaos. All the kids were learning. Because we had runners with post-it notes. We had the researchers. The researchers were looking through it, and then they would take the, we had runners from the researchers to the questioners, and she was monitoring the questions. So it was a controlled chaos kind of thing. Um, but the kids, it was perfect, though. Um, they had great discussions, and they loved it. Uh, everybody was engaged. Um, they had, she had photographers, videographers, everybody had a 
a job. And again, she found those jobs predominantly off teachers' pay teachers. I got the jobs and I got the questions off the teachers' pay teachers. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come up with it on my own. It's <laughs> <laughs> the best part, yeah. I like to stay hanging out. My daughter-in-law is a teacher in Franklin ISD, and she has agreed to Google with us. She's she's a third grade teacher, and um, but I have to make sure she's there. That's the only thing. You, have, you do have to coordinate your time. So I made sure to remind the other teacher that, like, you're calling me at 9.15, but 10.15 your time. So I don't want her to call me at 8.15. <laughs> All right. So. Okay, what happened to my hangout? that you're connecting with, they'll give you the connection with yeah. 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 the Can I make this Thank you. 
Okay, so that, that's me screen sharing. When I went to screen share, is that showing up on your screen? Yes. I am
to help you that Matt and me. It's just a way to collaborate and get some of those 21st century. Generating people. questions is a big one. Is one of our big standards that we have to worry about generating and asking relevant questions. Um, we think that might be easy, but um, it's not all that easy sometimes. So this is a great way to practice some of those things. So hopefully you've learned something today, and if you give our presenters a, a nice hand.